What's up, 8th graders? So today we're going to be learning about the power of power rule. And what this means is that when you have an exponent raised to another power, so we have a, your base with the power, and then outside of your parentheses, you have another power, you multiply the powers together. And so if we're looking at this example here, we have a base of 6 to the 4th power times the exponent of 3. And so what we do here is we keep the base, and then our power is actually going to be 4 times 3, which is 12. And so we actually have 6 to the 12th power. And we can also come over here and look at w to the 3rd times the 2nd power. And so we'll actually multiply 3 and 2 together to get 6. And so that's all we're doing with the power of a power rule is we're just multiplying those exponents together. And so if we come down here, let's kind of look at this if we wrote a sentence. And so write the outside exponent as a multiplication sentence. And so what we'll do is that if we have 7 to the 5th, three times, what we actually have is 7 to the 5th times another 7 to the 5th times the last one, another 7. Oops, hold on. Another 7 to the 5th because we have 7 to the 5th three times. 7 to the 5th, 7 to the 5th, 7 to the 5th. And then if we come down here, B, we can actually expand this out a little bit farther, right? If we know we have seven fives, we can do 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Again, another 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. And then our last one, 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7, right? Because we have 7 to the 5th times 7 to the 5th times 7 to the 5th. And so that is why we are going to have 15, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 sevens timesing each other. And so that's why we multiply our exponents together. Um, so let's look at C, write the example as a simplified expression. So how many sevens do I have? So we actually are going to end up having seven to the 15th power. And that's exactly what we have when we have seven fifths times three, we actually have seven to the 15th power. And what operation are we using? We are actually using multiplication. Okay, oops. All right, so if you have any questions on this, please let me know, but you can go ahead and do the activity, but that's all we are doing with our exponents today. We are just multiplying them together. All right, have a great day.